Hi, this is Dr. Sperling, a.k.a. Dr. Nail Nipper, and we've all gotten used to seeing pictures like these of feet with different deformities and different types of nails. Today we're going to focus, though, on one thing that all of these feet have in common, and that is the baby toe that curls under and can cause painful corns uh, on the side where the shoe hits. So while I'm not a genius with uh, making these movies, I do want to show you a very common place that people get corns or calluses on the fifth toe or the baby toe where the shoe presses. And they look just like this. Now why do we get them? Well, let's look at a toe first that doesn't curve around. And that is all the bones there are nice and straight. But now let's look at one where the toe curls under and you can see that there's a prominence of the head of that bone right there poking out against the skin from the inside. And when the shoe pushes back against it from the outside, the skin gets stuck in between these two pressure points and it will thicken. And right where you see the little core in the center, that is the actual most prominent little teeny point of bone that's pushing out and that makes the skin just a little bit thicker right there and then all of the other skin around it will become thick but not quite as thick and that's what makes that core. The core is not something that you can get rid of or take out and get rid of the corn. The problem really is from the bone pushing underneath due to the shape and the position of that toe. So the question is, once this corn or callus is trimmed, what can we do to protect that area? Well, you can get shoes that are wider, shoes that don't press on that area. Uh, you could go barefoot for the rest of your life, which I don't think is a possibility for most of us. Um, and there's different ways that you can pad the area to help keep the pressure off. Ultimately, we can surgically remove that bony prominence that sits underneath, and that will change the shape of the toe a little bit and get rid of the pressure points. So this uh, is an example of what we do when a patient comes in for regular maintenance to help keep these more comfortable. The next patient you'll see is one who actually developed a sore underneath the corn because the corn got too thick. And right here I'm just pressing so that she can see if it feels better or if I need to do a little bit more. Okay, so just to recap, last week when you were here and we trimmed this callus down, mm -hmm. there was an open sore underneath the little corn here, right? right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and it was really painful, much more so than usual, oh. right? For you, okay. And so how has it been since we kind of trimmed it? And how did you like that bandage that was on there? I thought it was great. Thank you. did you. that. Yeah. <laughs> he, <laughs> wanted, he wanted to be okay. praised. Yeah. So we've been putting a little antibiotic with a Band-Aid on this exactly. um, every, day. every day. And it's, it looks healed. I don't see oh. any more open sore. But oh. that's the danger of letting those corns get too thick. So um, we don't need to put any more antibiotic or Band-Aid on it. But we will... Um, Let's look at what kind of pad you can put on it so it doesn't happen again. Oh. Okay. That so would be great. Yeah. Do you ever do you ever put a little corn pad or something on it? I I think vaguely. I, I remember a couple of times, but it was so bad. I okay. Did. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'll give you a handful of these and these have a little pre cut hole in them. Okay. All right. And what you do is you put the sore spot right in that hole. Oh. And what that does is it allows the shoe pressure to be taken up around that pressure point instead of right on it. Oh, thank okay. you. So these, these are real thin ones, mm -hmm. so it won't take up too much room in your shoe. Okay. And I'll give you a handful of these to start with, and when I see you back in a couple months for your regular routine care, mm -hmm. we can talk about whether this worked or it didn't. Okay? okay? Oh, thank you uh, so wait, much. Wait, let me ask. So now, what if 
that what if something happens between now and a couple of months? Well, you don't wait then. If something if something gets very painful, you come in sooner. Okay. okay. The two month time frame is only for what Medicare calls routine trimming of toenails, corns, and calluses. Okay. So you drop something on your foot, you get an ingrown toenail, or this starts to hurt a lot. You don't wait. You come in sooner than that. Okay. I will remember that. Okay. Thank you.